All right, I made one of these earlier. Let's just say people weren't too fucking happy with my opinion. So uh, let's do a part two. My opinion's changed. Hopefully you agree. Or fuck you, disagree. I don't give a fuck. At number five, Josh Rosen. He reminds me a lot of Goff because he looked, he did, he just looked bad. He just looked like shit this year. And for some guys, you got to look like shit that first year. Peyton Manning. Jared Goff, you just got to look like absolute dog shit so that no one thinks you're going to be good, and then you're going to be amazing. I think that's just the formula. So there you go. At four, Lamar Jackson. This guy's not a fucking quarterback. This guy's a, just a football player. He's not a quarterback. I would, you know, honestly, I would run him in more trick plays than I would actual plays because we saw what the Chargers did to this kid. This kid had, like, 16 yards after, like, the first half or some shit. That's fucked. He's not a quarterback. He's th- He can't. I don't know what it is. He's lobbing everything. He doesn't know when to throw a touch pass, when to throw a bullet. He's just not a very good quarterback. I would use him as a fucking wide receiver. I'd use him as a running back. Like, this kid's unbelievably athletic. But not, not doing it for me as a quarterback. And at three, oh, man, this is tough because even as a fucking Dolphins fan, I love Josh Allen. This I'll put him at three. Josh Allen, this kid, this kid has some guts. This kid went into Minnesota as a 16.5-point underdog and beat them by 21. This is, the, <laughs> this is a kid who has no run game, n- no offensive line whatsoever, not one weapon. He doesn't have one weapon. I can't even name one player that people would even sign off a practice squad on the Bills' offense. That's how bad they are. They're going to get some boys in there. And I'm telling you, the upside is Patrick Mahomes. The downside is, uh, I don't even know, really fucking bad. But he could be Patty Mahomes. That arm, holy fuck. And at two, you got to put Sam. I love... That he got hurt, came back, and looked unbelievable. You know what that tells me? That tells me, fuck, as a Dolphins fan, I have to deal with Allen and Darnold. One of them are going to end up fucking amazing. So I'm going to have to deal with that and the Patriots every year. And this guy's got Adam Gase now. He's got an offensive guy. And say what you want. He had success with Ryan Tannehill. Ryan fucking Tannehill. The Jets are a playoff team next year. Baker Mayfield that won. It's it's fucking obvious. The guy broke the record for rookie touchdown passes, and he only played like fourteen games. I mean, holy fuck! When you're with when you're with a group called Russell Wilson and Peyton Manning, it's pretty hard to be shitty. I feel like I've been saying the same thing with Mahomes. You don't just throw fifty touchdowns and then drop off a lot. He's like these are special, special quarterbacks. Baker. I, I mean, I don't like some of the shit that he does, but he needs to bring a spark to Cleveland because no one gives a fuck about the Browns. I don't give a... F- I mean, usually I don't want my quarterbacks doing that shit, grabbing their balls all the time, lipping everybody off, talking shit about Hugh Jackson, but if it's the Browns, dude, spark that shit up. Get people talking about Cleveland. Get people angry to play Cleveland. And then I think they're a fucking playoff team.